Hi everybody, I'm Janine Stein. I'm the Editorial Director of Cloth Paper Scissors Magazine and I'm here to tell you about our new kit, Mixed Media Pattern Play Value Pack. It's so much fun and it goes along with this magazine. This is our January-February issue which is all about patterning. You'll get this in your kit. So patterns are a big part of mixed media art, as you know, making patterns. So the kit really helps you have a lot of inspiration and information about what to do, how to make patterns, the tools, everything you'll need. One of the really fun things in this kit is this rolling stamp. And this comes with three interchangeable heads so you can have different patterns. And it also comes with a set of four inks from their Distress Inks from Tim Holtz Ranger, beautiful colors. Don't let the small size fool you. All you have to do is open it up and I'm just gonna run the stamp across the square. You can see it's inking up very, very, very nicely. Just do that, it's a beautiful turquoise blue. Then what I'm going to do is just take this piece of torn muslin, I just ripped it off, and I'm going to just lay it out in front of me, take my stamp and start rolling. And you can see it's creating this cool pattern. Now the nice thing about this is you can use this now in your collages, in your assemblages, you can wrap a package with it, you can do so much. And the fun thing about these stamps is this head can remove comes off, just put the next one on, pick a different color, and you're good to go. So I'm going to work with this pink color, which is really pretty. This is picked raspberry. That sounds like fun. Again, I'm just going to ink it up. It doesn't take very long on that little square. And if you wanted to say personalize some stationery, here's just a blank envelope. I'm going to do the same thing. I can eyeball this very easily. I'm going to start right off and just ink it up right across the bottom. Boom, personalized stationery. How much fun is that? So easy. You have to get this kit. It's at shop.clothpaperscissors.com. Next up, Paige Martin. She's going to show you some more fun things to do. Hi, I'm Paige, and I'm going to show you the mini kit inside of the kit. So inside of the pattern play kit, you'll get this mini kit by Yellow Owl Workshop, which includes this adorable little stamp, which is a little trophy, and it says the greatest, which you are. And it comes with two of its own little ink pads. It comes with a black and a yellow, which is just perfect for doing little trophies. And what I did with it is I used it to create this greeting card. And I wrote, you are the greatest. This is perfect for someone you care about or for Valentine's Day. And I really use this stamp as a pattern, even though it seems like it's a singular little image. You can turn anything into a really cool pattern. So I'm going to show you just how to do the repeating pattern. And to get started is I used the black ink on the stamp. And I stamped it kind of in the middle. And then at the top I wrote U R, and I tried to mimic the lettering that's on the stamp just for cohesiveness and just to make it look nice. Now I'm going to show you kind of what I did to make it go all over and look like a repeating pattern and blend into the background. So we're going to use yellow for the rest of it. We're going to take kind of a graphic design approach to it. Now I took the ink pad and I held the stamp in my other hand and I used it this way instead of pressing the stamp onto the ink pad just to make sure I was getting it all over. Now, I did the black portion first because I wanted it centered, but you could certainly do the yellow first. You can make, your own, make up your own mind about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of offset each row so that it doesn't look like I've gone and perfectly repeated them. So just down below, I'm going to stamp just the top half of it. So as you can see, now it looks like we're going into a different portion of the pattern. We'll go ahead and we'll add some more. And this time, let's kind of offset it over here. And don't be worried, you want to go off the edge of all of this so that it really looks like you cut it out of some pre-made papers because it, that's how good you are. Is it looks like it should be sold in stores. So as you can see, it's starting to form the pattern over here, and I just created that all over, and now it looks like a perfect little card for one of your loved ones, or for Valentine's Day, which is just around the corner. Hi again everybody, it's Janine. I'm back with another cool thing. Now I made this, this is the project that's on the cover of the magazine that you'll get with your kit. 
This is so much fun. These are stitched mixed media keepers. I made mine for my iPad right in here. Even though it has a cover, I want to give it a little bit more protection. This is just made from fabric scraps and some little mixed media elements. I did some stitching and some little beads on here, added a button, but it's so much fun. All you do is you take fabric scraps, you pin them to a substrate, a, quilt, a piece of quilt batting, sew it all up in a grid, nothing fancy. You don't need mad skills. You just need a sewing machine with a straight stitch and you're good to go. This was so much fun. The cool thing about this is you can stencil on top of already patterned fabric that you have. So you can see on here, I patterned some parts of the fabric. I left others plain. So this one has the stencil on it. This one has the stencil. So does this and this. Others I left plain. But also what that does is it kind of unifies the piece because you see these repeating patterns. So let's say you have this piece of fabric and it's fine as it is. But the cool thing about patterning is you can layer patterning. So you may have this piece of fabric, it's great, but you may want to add to it. So this comes in your kit. This is a stencil girl stencil, and it's really fun. You can see it has two sides, so two different patterns. So I just put it on top of my, my scrap of fabric. I chose a contrasting color of the ink that you get. Took a little dauber. You can use a makeup sponge if you want to. You can use a stencil brush. Just got some ink on there, and I just kind of pounced it a little bit like this, just all over the pattern, not being super careful. And when I lift it up, you can see the stencil design on there. As you can see, I layered the stencil over, I pounced the color on, and you can repattern your fabric. You can keep adding layers, adding layers, but it totally changes the look of the fabric. So it's like having new fabric. You have to make this. It's so much fun. Remember, it's the Mixed Media Pattern Play Value Pack. It's available now at shop.cloughpaperscissors.com. I guarantee you'll have so much fun with it. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon.